Biggie. Hello. Hello. Come on, then. This way. Come on. We're sitting here. Wait, 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 Biggie, because I'm going to give you some treats. What's this? Biggie, what's this? Come on. All right, well, he's not going to come sit on my lap, so we're going to have to freestyle this a bit. But hello, everybody. Oh, hello. You found your treats, have you? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cats and Books tag. So this was created by Spinster's Library, by Claudia over at Spinster's Library. And as usual, there are a bunch of questions that Biggie and I are going to try and answer. So let's get it going before he runs away. Look at this. You want some more? Some more. Nom, 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 nom. So, question number one. Tell us about your cat. Name, age, hobbies. So this is Biggie Cobain down here. He is, how old are you now, Biggie? You're nearly three. He's three on Halloween. He's a little black cat. We don't actually know his birthday, but we know enough about his age to say he was born roughly on Halloween. What are your hobbies, Biggie? Your hobbies include eating, meowing, chasing balls, Laser pointers, he likes laser pointers. What else are Biggie's hobbies? Oh no, he's gone. Biscuits. Biscuits. Come on, eat some more of these biscuits. This is this is anarchy here. Come bring him over here. He's supposed to be in this video with me. Question number two. Recommend a book that features, includes, or mentions a cat. So we we're gonna go with Terry Pratchett, the amazing Morris and his educated rodents. So this has got a cat in it called Morris. Question number three. What's your favourite fictional cat? This can be from literature, TV, movies, games, etc. And the cat that popped into my head is Simon's Cat. Simon's Cat by Simon Tofield. He wants to run away. Don't you want to run away, Biggie? Here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Another one of these. Question number four. If your cat was the main character in a book, what sort of book would it be? So I think it would be a cookbook because he really likes food. Look at you cleaning. Oi, you're supposed to be on camera. You're supposed to be looking this way. What are you doing? I think he'd be posh comedy. You think he'd be posh comedy? Yeah, with a top hat on and yeah. a monocle. I also thought maybe a food-themed cosy mystery. Where are you going now? Oh, you're going to play with this. Okay, question number five. Recommend a book that your cat would enjoy if they could read. He can read. He would he would read Catus Petasatus because it's the cat in the hat in Latin. And he seems like a, a Latin lover to me. What are you doing down there, Biggie? It's the laziest smack I've ever seen. Yeah. Come on, cat. Come on. Okay, question number six. Which book or story would benefit from the inclusion of one or more cats? I think Animal Farm by George Orwell because, you know, all animals are born equal, but some are more equal than others. And Biggie is the most equal of all, aren't you, Biggie? Son of a bit lich. Mm. Okay, question number seven. Have your cat pick your next read. I mean, I can't even get my cat to be in the video, so I don't think that's going to happen. No, it's okay. It's okay. If I manage to get him to pick my next read, I will splice in some footage of that here. But I don't think we're going to be able to. He's not a very good co-host, really, are you, Biggie? And question number eight. Tag some cat lovers. I don't actually know who to tag because I don't really know who's got a cat. And I think everyone who does has a, have a cat has already been tagged. Oh, bye then. Bye. But if you have a cat and you would like to attempt this tag, as you can see, it's kind of difficult to do. <laughs> But um, yeah, this was the Cats and Books tag. So on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed watching me struggle to get Biggie to participate. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. And uh, I will see you soon for more bookish videos. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye then, Biggie. He's like, you woke me up for this. He was having a nap on the window when I picked him up.